I left that party because it is led by an elitist cabal of woke warmongers. As the saying goes, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. For Tulsi Gabbard, love and ambition didn't always align perfectly. The former Democratic representative and presidential candidate has now revealed the personal reasons behind her split from her first husband, Eduardo Tamayo, a story as intricate and layered as her political career. From Hawaii's peaceful shores to the conflict zones of Iraq, and from the floors of Congress to appearances on national television, Gabbard's path has been anything but ordinary. Her marriage to Tamayo, which began at the age of 21, started off like a dream. But, as we all know, life is far from a fairy tale, and even the strongest relationships can break under the pressures of duty, distance, and diverging life goals. In today's video, we'll dive into the personal and political events that led to the dissolution of Gabbard's first marriage, and explore how these experiences have shaped her career. We'll trace her transformation from a rising Democratic star to a polarizing figure with links to Donald Trump. This is a tale of love, conflict, political ambition, and growth. One that may shift your perspective on Tulsi Gabbard. So, sit back and get ready to explore the fascinating journey of one of America's most compelling political figures. Early Life and First Marriage Tulsi Gabbard's journey began in American Samoa, where she was born in 1981. Raised in Hawaii, she grew up immersed in a diverse cultural environment that later helped form her distinct perspective on life and politics. The aloha spirit, emphasizing peace and mutual respect, became a key part of her worldview. Her father, Mike Gabbard, was a prominent figure in Hawaiian politics, which gave Tulsi an early introduction to public service. At the age of 21, Tulsi married Eduardo Tamayo in 2002. The two had been childhood friends, and their relationship blossomed in the picturesque backdrop of Hawaii. It seemed like the perfect start for two young people with their whole lives ahead of them. Friends and family rejoiced, believing the couple would enjoy a long and happy life together. However, the honeymoon phase didn't last long. In 2004, Gabbard made a pivotal decision when she was deployed to Iraq as part of her role in the Hawaii Army National Guard. This choice, showcasing her patriotism and dedication, would have significant consequences for her personal and professional life. Just two years into their marriage, the couple found themselves grappling with the challenges of long-distance separation and the added stress of Gabbard serving in a war zone. Before we continue, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe to Golden Throwback for more content like this. Now, let's get back to it. The Strain of Military Service Gabbard's 18-month deployment to Iraq placed a tremendous burden on her marriage. The physical separation was difficult, but the emotional strain of serving in a war zone while trying to sustain a relationship made things even harder. Balancing her commitment to her country with her role as a spouse became an overwhelming challenge. With limited communication and the daily pressure of life in a combat zone, Gabbard and Tamayo found it increasingly difficult to stay connected. In a heartfelt reflection that resonated with many military families, Gabbard admitted, Sadly, Eddie and I became just another statistic another unfortunate example of the strain military life places on families. Her candid acknowledgement shed light on the often overlooked toll that military service takes on both service members and their loved ones. Gabbard's experiences in Iraq not only impacted her personal life, but also significantly shaped her political views. Witnessing the harsh realities of war firsthand led her to become a staunch critic of what she described as pointless, wasteful foreign wars. Her opposition to these conflicts, rooted in personal experience rather than political ideology, would eventually set her apart from many of her Democratic colleagues and define her unique stance in American politics. The End of Her Marriage By 2006, not long after her return from Iraq, 
Gabbard and Tamayo made the difficult decision to divorce. Their marriage, which had lasted just four years, had been marked by long separations and intense pressures. Gabbard has been open about the role her military service played in the breakdown of their relationship, acknowledging the heavy price military families often pay. Despite the end of their marriage, Gabbard spoke kindly of her relationship with Tamayo. In a show of grace, she remarked, Eddie and I remain friends, and I'm grateful that his family still treats me as one of their own. Her ability to maintain positive relationships in the face of personal hardship became a defining characteristic that would benefit her political career. While the divorce was a painful chapter in Gabbard's life, it also marked the beginning of a new phase. Free from the constraints of her marriage, she was able to fully devote herself to her burgeoning political career. The lessons she learned from her personal struggles and her time in the military informed her public service, sharpening her focus on issues like foreign policy and veterans' rights. Political Rise and New Love Following her divorce, Gabbard immersed herself in politics with renewed energy. She had already made history in 2002 by becoming the youngest person elected to Hawaii's legislature. Her military background and unorthodox views on foreign policy helped her stand out in Hawaii's political landscape. In 2012, Gabbard reached a major milestone when she was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. Her campaign emphasized her military experience, advocacy for veterans, and innovative approach to foreign policy. As a young woman of color with a military background, she quickly gained attention as a rising star within the Democratic Party. On the personal side, Gabbard found love again. In 2015, she married freelance cinematographer Abraham Williams. The two had met during her 2012 congressional campaign, and their relationship grew, fueled by shared interests in outdoor activities like surfing, reflecting their Hawaiian roots. Their wedding on Oahu was a traditional Vedic ceremony, honoring Gabbard's Hindu faith. The blending of Hawaiian and Hindu traditions further highlighted her unique background, making her the first Hindu elected to Congress. Her second marriage has proven to be more stable, likely due to the insights she gained from her first. Williams, also active in her political campaigns, has formed a supportive partnership with Gabbard, merging their personal and professional lives. Political Shift and Current Standing Over the past few years, Gabbard has undergone a notable political transformation, leaving many of her former allies surprised. Once a progressive voice within the Democratic Party, she has increasingly distanced herself from it, officially breaking ties in 2022. Her departure came with harsh critiques, as she accused the party of embracing cowardly wokeness and promoting anti-white racism. Her evolving views have led her to criticize Democratic stances on foreign policy, gender, and race while advocating for what she sees as traditional American values. Frequent appearances on conservative media and her sharp criticisms of mainstream Democratic positions have made her a divisive figure within her former party. Speculation about Gabbard's future has even included her name as a possible running mate for Donald Trump's 2024 presidential bid, a dramatic shift for someone once seen as a Democratic up-and-comer. Though she was ultimately passed over for Trump's ticket in favor of J.D. Vance, Gabbard remains influential. In a surprising move, she was appointed an honorary co-chair of Trump's transition team, joining figures like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. This marks a significant departure from her early days as a progressive Democrat. Like her personal life, Gabbard's political career has been marked by twists and turns from her early marriage and military service to her rise and eventual departure from the Democratic Party. Tulsi Gabbard remains one of the most compelling figures in modern American politics. Now, what are your thoughts on how Tulsi Gabbard's personal experiences, including her divorce, have shaped her political career? Share your thoughts in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.